Okay, we're back with the 77 PTO. We left off, I had the discs in there. And that uh, center plate or separator plate and then another disc. And I guess this would be the actuator plate or something. And those little springs, a little tricky but not too bad. You just got to make sure that the spring comes in a hole. There's a hole in this actuator plate, so that's why the pick's there to help get that lined up. Now we're ready to put the shims in. The brand new shims is just a one piece deal. So we're going to try that. One on each one. And see, uh, and then put the other pressure plate on and the bearing and then see if she pops in and out we might have to add some some of the old shims here so not a lot of heavy work but you got to use your head a little bit okay we'll be back well we got everything back together as you can see it's working like it should motor's running a horrible rattle you can hear up here that was back here. And now my assistant engages. It's a little hard to engage, but we don't care about that. So it works. And then when you disengage, it stops spinning dead, which is perfect. So we kind of jumped around, bypassed some steps, but uh, that's what we did. Okay, we're done with the PTO. Put the cover on and we're ready to go. See ya.